Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this 2023 Ford Mustang uh, Mach-E 4X GT. This is the more performance oriented uh, Mustang Mach-E. Starting off up front, we're gonna have full LED headlights, the light up Mustang logo, pretty cool, right in front of the front, front facing uh, camera. This has a 360 degree camera system. You also have parking sensors with cross path detection integrated into the bottom most portion of the bumper. Sport style GT uh, front air dam, if you want to call it that. It looks like someone already opened the frunk on this guy. Color match fender flares, very unique Ford Mustang GT style wheels. I don't know the specific size on them. It looks like they're a 20 inch wheel. It's a 245 45R20 uh, and it looks like it's on a Continental cross contact. There's your Mach E4X badging, black mirror caps, your 360 degree mounted uh, cameras right there, blind spot monitoring as you'd expect. Very unique door access, vehicle access. It does close by itself so I don't have to slam that shut like a dork. Coming back we have the Mustang style tail lamps, parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper, reverse lamp right there, backup camera above the GT for the Ford GT, license plate lights and I believe your trunk release is actually right here in the exact middle. We'll go over that a little bit more in detail later but overall I'm very impressed with the exterior look of this vehicle. This uh, red tint coat looks absolutely amazing in the light. Let's take a quick look at the interior. I do apologize for the lack of light in here. I will try and fix this in post. Uh, the lighting on the outside of the vehicle is absolutely amazing, but once you get in, it's a completely different story. Uh, this guy does have the b &O Premium Audio Group. Uh, very minimalist style interior. All your window controls are gonna be here. Your mirror controls are gonna be there. You got your lock and unlock button there. Three seat memory. We have your max defrost here rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle dimmer switch for your instrument cluster as well as your traction control off button that brings us up to the actual instrument cluster itself it is extremely minimalist um, it's very cool i've actually driven a couple of these at my local dealer um, extremely fast the torque is instant you have all your battery and speedometer readout and stuff like that all right here it's very very cool this is for the semi-autonomous driving it actually senses if you're looking at the road um, pretty cool nice leather wrap steering wheel mild bolsters at 10 and 2 all of your cruise control buttons are going to be right here as well as your gap adjustment for your adaptive cruise control and your lane keep assist button blacked out mustang logo right here and then over here we have all the steering wheel mounted audio controls for the vehicle push button start and then we also have the massive touchscreen display you can pretty much control everything through here um, i absolutely love this touchscreen display you can control the zone lighting you can control all your settings you can see your batteries you, you can do everything through this touchscreen display you can look at your camera you can go to a calm screen if you'd like which is just like a uh, like a screensaver on a plus size tablet you can control your heated seats from here pretty cool heated steering wheel fan speed, all that stuff. You can do everything from here. I absolutely love, love, love this touchscreen display. Obviously, it's gonna be uh, wireless CarPlay, uh, wireless Android Auto, 4G LTE connected, just the whole nine yards. Under that, you have a USB and USB-C outlet, massive storage tray, I believe one side is a wireless charging mat, two cup holders right here, rotary dial shifter, park reverse neutral drive low parallel park button hazard light button electronic parking brake the armrest has the gt stamped into it and you lift up on that giving us access to a storage compartment down here with a 12 volt outlet as well as a key fob storage holder really nice cloth and leather seats i think this is almost like an alcantara seat the glove box is going to be right here coming up top to the vanity it's going to be led lit for your passenger as well as the driver. Driver vanity does have a three door universal garage remote. Up top on the headliner, you have glass of storage and then your LED dome map light master controls, which I am now realizing I probably should have turned on as soon as I got in the car. Right here, we have your auto dimming rear view mirror. And then we have a single pane solid piece of glass as the roof. This thing is sweet. 
So overall, I really, really love the interior of these EVs. I, the more minimalistic, the better. Um, I really like the uh, Hyundai Ioniq 5, but this being the Mustang GT, this is the more performance-based um, EV. So let's take a quick look at the back and see how much legroom we have. Decent amount of legroom back here. You're gonna get storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Rear air conditioning vents with a USB and USB Type-C outlet. And then the middle seat does double as an armrest slash cup holder. And then your integrated hanger hooks and grab handles and LED dome applets are pushed to the outermost portion of the headliner because of the single pane sunroof. Something to note too is because this glass is curved and it's a single pane, you still have a decent amount of headroom. And if you look closely, you can see they kind of bubble out some headroom for the passengers and the captain's chairs, which is always appreciated. Let's take a quick look at the back and see how much cargo space we have. To open the trunk, you're going to come directly below the GT. There should be a button. Push it and it will automatically open up for you. Tons and tons of cargo space back here. You also have some in-floor storage if I can get to it right there. 12 volt outlet over on the passenger side as well as a LED cargo lamp on the passenger side as well. And it looks like these seats do fold down giving you almost a load flat floor doubling your cargo space. When you're done back here, come up to the driver's side, push the button, it'll beep at you a couple times, and then it will automatically close. Let's take a quick look at the frunk. To open the frunk, you actually pull on this lever twice, just like if you were uh, opening the hood of a car. Pull on this twice, it does not um, spring up for you right away, you have to kind of give it a little bit of a lift. But once you're done doing that, you have access to here, which can easily store an overnight bag or some groceries. LED cargo lamp and then a child safety latch in case somehow a small body gets in the front of the vehicle. And then your washer fluid is right here. Positive battery terminals under this plastic piece and your negative ones right there as well. So once you're done, you can slam it shut like a regular hood and you're good to go. Unfortunately, this guy does not have a window sticker, so I won't be able to tell you the MSRP. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more auto show content and future vehicle walkthroughs, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel. And please check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.